Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, it's the awesome chat. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here at the East Center at Linden Point down here in Hermitage, PA. Uh, talking with some great companies. Got another guest here we'll be speaking with about what you're up to in the startup weekend and everything going on up here north of Pittsburgh. Well, north of Pittsburgh, actually. Uh, check out everything at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to the awesome chat on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, the Facebook video for Awesome Cast, and the YouTube video for Awesome Cast. All that is there if you want to see what all these people look like. Uh, <laughs> so if you happen to be on the audio versions. Uh, so, uh, and, and like I said, right here in, in Lind Point, uh, introduce yourself. Tell us what you're doing. Hi, my name is Jacob Linsenbold. I actually had this opportunity to come to the E-Center after participating in the Startup Weekend, which you were there for. And I spoke with some people from Penn State, and they have an incubator space. So they offered me a position there. So I said, well, I better write my business plan and get this going. So <laughs> I uh, just doubled down and got that done. And we've been here for about two weeks now, and uh, things are going pretty well. And couldn't ask for a better place to start off at. So let's start off with that experience of the startup weekend that happened here. Like, like you know, what you know, how did you discover it? And, and kind of tell me about your experience in there. Well, I actually uh, was talking to one of my, old, my former professors, and she said, there's a great opportunity coming up at uh, Linden Point. And I've never really been up here besides uh, back when this was just open field and there's a park here and everything. So I uh, came here, and I had some ideas, and we kind of recruited a team, and we uh, put our stuff together and spent a hard, uh, what was it, 72 hours together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, unfortunately, we weren't the winners, but I could see that everybody else was just as mad as I was at the end. So. <laughs> I figured we were on the right track, so mm -hmm. uh, I just knew I had to continue to pursue my business idea, which deals with uh, physical medicine equipment, which covers a lot of things. Yeah. And this area, the demographics tend to be a little older, and this growing market uh, kind of led me to think, well, I can work on this business, and it's something you can do on the internet, and you can serve people all over the country. So I wanted to do that in order to um, produce some new products that I'm working on developing so that's awesome this is kind of the foot in the door to that so 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 you did that and how did how did that bridge from being at startup weekend putting the idea out working with the team to actually landing yourself here in in the e-center well I had some uh, great professors down at Penn State Shenango and they really wanted me to take advantage of this opportunity mm -hmm. I mean they kind of believed in me more than whatever business plan I had because that was kind of just a cherry on top which I really focused and this is something I wanted to do so I filled mm -hmm. it out pretty well and I really didn't know about this place, as I said, so it was just kind of a lucky thing that I had a professor that contacted me to speak with her one day, and this led to this a few months later, so it was a pretty pretty good experience, and I'm very lucky to have it. That's awesome. So t tell me, so what are you doing, um, as much as you can talk about, I'm sure there might be some secret plans on the drawing board <laughs> for any business, right? Mm -hmm. but, but what is your uh, business kind of center around? Okay, so currently I've been just kind of... Uh, grounding and pounding and just meeting a bunch of different medical professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have supplies for everything from like chiropractors, physical therapists, and uh, gyms and things like that. So I really just want to kind of open up those channels and have some good relationships with clients and vendors. So down the line, um, we're working on a few products that would kind of help people with mobility. Mm -hmm. So we really want to open the door for that so I can hopefully introduce this product and have it be a success to help people. because. I work with a nonprofit that does something similar, so okay. these things kind of mesh together. So it was kind of a no-brainer to so, pursue this. So you're working on the business side, and you're working on the nonprofit side, like pretty much what you kind of looking to do with the business what maybe the nonprofit can't. Yeah, I mean, right now we're kind of uh, sponsoring people to get um, services like rehabilitation and stuff mm -hmm. through our nonprofit, and uh, I kind of figured that if I could uh, make these connections, maybe they could complement each other down the road and everything like that, and. Mm -hmm. I don't have much of a life now since we're, you know, working with a nonprofit and starting a new business is a little bit of a time suck. But the usual entrepreneur uh, uh, issue that's of, it. of that yeah. time, yes, in the social life. But <laughs> that's part of the price you pay for doing it, right? I'm enjoying but it's it. Good, but it's good. You're, you're having yeah. fun, right? I'm having a great time so far. So that's great. Haven't got any uh, 
anybody tell me off yet or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So we're on a good path so far. So, so being somebody that, um, you know, you were going to a, a college here in the area and, uh, were you, you know, kind of looking to stay in the area or, and, and this came up and it was kind of an opportunity or like, what was kind of your trajectory before you kind of landed here? I was kind of just focusing on the nonprofit for the most part. I mm-hmm. mean, I didn't have any plans to stick around here or anything mm-hmm. like that, but at the same time, I wasn't trying to flee the area or anything like that. Right. So this kind of came up and it just worked out. So any kind of, anytime you get an opportunity, you got to take advantage of it. And definitely. Definitely. That's what we're trying to do here. So. Did you think you'd see an opportunity like this in, in this kind of area? It feels like it definitely is something that we, we've talked about. We see here in like, uh, like Pittsburgh or other cities. Yeah. It seems like many people think that they need to go to Pittsburgh or mm-hmm. other areas, whether it's near or further away, um, these larger areas to find work. But I mean, it's really about making your own opportunities and, Hermitage, I don't have the numbers in front of me or anything like that, but it seems that it's been growing over the last decade or so, and we've been a lot of new establishments here, and mm-hmm. this is a great place here. The city of Hermitage is really uh, invested in this area, and I think it's a great spot to get on the the early mover advantage here when everything's just kind of still building up. So that's great. Can you talk a little bit about, I guess, you know, you've only been technically here for two weeks uh, mm-hmm. as of we're recording this. So maybe we'll have to check in when this gets out and see how you're doing Definitely. Um, on, on, on Twitter or something. But, uh, but uh, you know, what are you seeing as kind of the advantages? Like, what are you kind of getting out of being on location here? Well, I'm lucky enough that overhead isn't a factor that much right now because mm-hmm. Penn State and the East Center have been sponsoring me to use their office space. And uh, I guess the advantage is a lot of the talent around here. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of looking around, but there's a lot of talent here that people <laughs> who are we help talking you. about yeah, down there? Seeing who <laughs> we're talking about. But everyone here is really nice, and they know a lot of people. And that's kind of the name of the game with anything is who you know. It's not as much what you know always. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to uh, hopefully collaborate with everyone here and help them, and hopefully they can help me, and mm-hmm. then we'll all succeed in the end. So what's the uh, what's the what's the big long term goal for your company right now? As of right now, I've looked ahead about two years or so, and I kind of want to generate a revenue stream. Mm-hmm. And I already mentioned that, obviously, you want to generate a revenue stream. I've already mentioned about the uh, meeting clients and vendors and stuff, but I want to develop these new products, um, ones like a pair of crutches that would help people out. And mm-hmm. it's just it's just a different way of looking at things. We're kind of focusing on the person rather than the device. So we're really just trying to open the door here and uh, push that forward. So it's going to be a long road, but if things work out, which you never know, uh, we're on the right path at the moment, though, so we're going to keep plugging along and hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of some opportunities and maybe get some products out there that can help some people, And whether it's with work or with uh, getting around and everything like that. So we're just going to keep pushing on that for the foreseeable future. That's awesome. Um, so where can people find out uh, what you're doing? Are you online yet with the company? Yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> this on, early? <laughs> yes, I actually do. I haven't even printed out my business cards or anything, but I've been visiting people <laughs> and uh we're at atpresources.com. We have our shop up there. It's not complete yet, but I just have the information out there if people want to learn more. And you can always stop by the e center and see my nice little piece of paper I taped up for my uh, logo. <laughs> so you know where we're at. And That's the early, early days <laughs> you get to look at several years from now when you're a big office and be like, yeah, I remember when this was a piece of tape, paper <laughs> taped up there, yeah. you know. So awesome. Thank you so much for no joining problem. us. Appreciate uh, it. Check, check him out. Uh, check out everybody else, all the rest of the interviews we're doing here at the E Center and everywhere else around Pittsburgh and abroad and, and, and everything else at uh, awesomecast.net. Subscribe to the show. Support the show if you like what we're doing over at patreon.com slash awesomecast. We have a few uh, nice little perks for you guys that, uh, that, that that contribute to that as well. So thank you so much to my awesome thank guest. You. Okay. Um, you have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.